Hey guys, so today, as promised, um, I'm going to be filming a My Favorite Shows on Hulu video. Personally, I think I like Hulu more than Netflix just because the show selection is impeccable. It's so wide, there's just like a huge plethora of shows to watch. Okay, so I'm going to start with my favorite and sorry I'm going to be looking at my phone, I just, I have a list. But my favorite show is actually a Hulu original and it is the Mindy Project. Now, Mindy Project is an amazing show. Mindy um, Lahiri is the main character. She's a woman, she's living in New York. She is an OBGYN and she has her own practice and she also works for an office, uh, for a practice. She is a partner. Um, she's just living in the vivacious city of New York City, my dream city. Um, if you guys know, New York City is like my dream. Um, yeah, so she lives in New York and you just follow her on her crazy adventures from, you know, her dating life to her friends to fake people to her problems. It's just a very lighthearted show and it'll never fail to put a smile on your face. Um, it is lighthearted, but the, um, romance, um, plot lines are phenomenal. They're so, um, amazingly developed and they're very deep. Even though they're lighthearted, they're very deep and... It's definitely not cursory, like you could definitely see the love between the relationships, so just a very good show. Next, um, This Is Us, of course, This Is Us is phenomenal. It is the complete opposite of The Mindy Project. It is completely deep, completely um, just like heartwarming as well as heart-wrenching. It just draws on your emotions and it kills you a little inside. It's just such a deep show. Um, you, once you watch this is us like you can't stop watching just because you watch one episode and you're like i need to watch the next so a lot of the time to save myself from going crazy i will save it up let them kind of compile and then i'll just watch three in one day just because it's such a good show um i just love the different family and everyone is just dealing with their own problems some people are dealing with weight problems some people are dealing with you know career problems some people are dealing with you know a long lost relative that they found it's just a very good show it's confusing at first but it's such a good show so the next show is the OC and if you don't know what the OC is it stands for the Orange County and I have to say that the OC is one of the best shows that I have started I would say that it rivals Gossip Girl and 90210 as well as Gilmore Girls it's kind of along the same line where you know they're off, of course privileged kids but the main character isn't he's kind of an outsider I guess you can kind of make the um, comparison with Dan Humphrey and Gossip Girl if you're familiar with that yeah Ryan Atwood is an outsider he comes from Chino Hills um, and he kind of just gets into the Orange County life and you get to see so many issues what they're dealing with another show that I kind of want to touch on is Scream Queens in the beginning, I was really into Scream Queens. Now, I'm a little... Um, I feel like Scream Queens is a good show. I definitely give it like an honorable mention. The trailer and the advertising for it is phenomenal. But I feel like the show is so superficial. The show, it is entertaining. But I wouldn't say it's one of my ultimate favorites. But it definitely is a good show. So I guess the last for like my um, drama shows would definitely be Desperate Housewives. And Desperate Housewives is a very good show. Um, I got up until season 4 on Netflix. But Netflix got rid of it while I was in the middle of an episode. Desperate Housewives is phenomenal. I cannot say enough good stuff about it. It is so entertaining. It is such a good show. It is like Pretty Little Liars but with middle-aged women. It's a little bit of mystery but also their everyday life so I just say that it's like Pretty Little Liars but with middle-aged woman. Cake Boss, amazing. Next Great Breaker, amazing. I'm obsessed with those two shows. Um, when I don't have anything to watch, I will watch Cake Boss and it never fails to impress and amuse me. Say Yes to the Dress, I just started and I finished a whole entire season in two days. The worst part about that was it wasn't even during the weekend, it was during the weekday when I had tests and quizzes and homework, yet I chose to watch women pick out their wedding dresses. That is how good the show is. The voice, I really, really like. Um, I prefer watching it on TV, but you know, if I miss it, I'll watch it on Hulu, whatever, no big deal. Anyways, moving on, um, The Bachelor, I just read, I just discovered the show this year. Um, okay. My view on The Bachelor is very mixed. Now, I love The Bachelor. It's very entertaining. 
However, I feel like I'm not too fond of the idea of 30 women fighting for one guy. I love it in Bachelor Monday is like my favorite day ever. It's the only thing that makes Mondays okay. But you know, Bachelor is a very good show. It'll definitely keep you entertained. Another good reality show is Shark Tank. Now Shark Tank is my favorite reality show because I want to be an entrepreneur. I literally started a club at my school for entrepreneurs, um, aspiring entrepreneurs, I guess. Um, I love business and all of these sharks I really like respect a lot and I feel like it's just a show that gives a lot of people hope. Another good reality show is Keeping Up with the Kardashians and all of the spinoffs and I feel like people will give me heat for it. I don't know what people have against the Kardashians really. I mean I do see like why people wouldn't like them but I feel like they're hardworking and we can't take that away from them. But next we'll go into comedies. So, um, my three favorite comedies are or four, Blackish, Fresh Off the Boat, The Good Place, and Modern Family. And those all kind of come, or, come out around the same time, um, like around Monday through Wednesday. So, those three days are like the golden days because that's when all my favorite shows come out. Um, I love Blackish so much. I love Fresh Off the Boat. I love Modern Family. I love The Good Place. I relate to all four of those shows, and I just think that they're such feel good shows, and they make you feel amazing about yourself when you're watching them. So yeah, those are my favorite Hulu shows. I tried to kind of speed through this video quick because I knew how many shows I was going to be talking about. So I hope I gave you guys a ton of good ideas because. I just, I want to help you guys. Those are my favorite shows. Comment down below your favorite shows. I would love to know and I'd love to start some of the shows you guys recommend to me. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.